Benjamin Franklin who tamed lightning with a kite and a key, proving electricity's raw power. But deep in the Amazon's murky veins, Electrophorus Voltae, a newly discovered electric eel, smirked and said, hold my voltage. Packing an 860 volt shock, the strongest in nature, this eight foot beast isn't just a fish, it's a living power plant, a biological taser that could light up your imagination or leave you trembling. Unearthed in 2019, this eel's zap could inspire tech to power your phone or mend your heart. But one wrong move and its jolt might send you to the ER or worse. Welcome to a story that's equal part science, adventure, and ethical lightning storm. Will this eel electrify our future or fry our morals? Stick around, because this tale's got enough juice to shock you senseless, and you won't want to miss the sparks at the end. A hidden giant sparks a revolution. For 250 years, we thought we had electric eels figured out. One species, Electrophorus electricus, slithering through South America's rivers, zapping prey with a solid 650 volts. Then, zoologist C. David de Santana and his team flipped the switch. From 2014 to 2017, they slogged through the Amazon swamps, Brazil's highlands, Guyana's floodplains, Suriname's backwaters, chasing rumors of something fiercer. Picture them knee-deep in mud, wielding a fish detector, a glorified microphone cable catching electric pulses, and voltmeters, corralling 107 live eels into kiddie pools for safe shock tests. They sliced tiny muscle samples for DNA, expecting minor tweaks. What they got was a bombshell. Not one species, but three. Enter E. Voltae, named for Alessandro Volta, whose 1800 battery mimicked eel electrocytes. This beast, found in the Brazilian Shield's low conductivity highlands, unleashed an 860 volt shock, shattering records. Measured in 2014 by ichthyologist William Crampton, that jolt came from a 1.21 meter specimen. Imagine what a 2.4 meter giant could do. Its flatter skull, fewer head pores, and longer body set it apart, but these clues stayed hidden for centuries in murky waters. As De Santana told The Guardian, if an eight foot fish can hide for 250 years, what else is out there? Very Amazon of it, honestly. How did they snag this electric titan, and why is it zap so intense? Hold tight, because the answer's about to light up. A biological power plant. How does a fish crank out 860 volts? It's not magic, it's biology's wildest engineering. E. Voltai's body is 80% electric organs. Three sets, main, hunters, sacks. Stuffed with 6,000 electrocytes. Modified muscle cells acting like tiny batteries. Each electrocyte pumps out 0.14 volts, but stack them like AA cells, and bam, 860 volts in a two millisecond burst. Picture a biological lightning bolt, fired at up to 500 pulses per second. The eel's nervous system is the conductor, sinking those electrocytes like a rock band nailing a riff. Low voltage pulses, 10 volts, are its sonar using electrolocation to see prey or obstacles in murky water by sensing electric field distortions. High voltage shocks, that's the knockout punch. Stunning fish or scaring off caimans. Why so strong? Its highland rivers have low conductivity, so E. Voltae evolved extra juice to make its zaps count, unlike marine electric rays that lean on amperage in salty seas. The team's DNA work showed it split from E. electricus 3.6 million years ago likely as the Amazon River's path shifted, isolating populations. Catching this beast was no picnic. The team used local knowledge to find eel haunts, measured shocks in pools to avoid harm, and sequenced mitochondrial DNA to confirm the split. It's a leap from 18th century naturalists getting zapped for science, and it's why E. Voltae feels like a thunderclap in biology. Could a monster E. Voltae hit 1,000 volts? and what's its wiring got to do with your phone? Keep watching, this is about to get charged. This eel's no mere river monster, it's a blueprint for a sci-fi future. Back in 1800, Volta's battery copied eel electrocytes, stacking metal to mimic their voltage. 
Now, Evoltai's 860 volt system is sparking bigger dreams. Its enzyme, acetylcholine sterase, calms nerves in drugs for Alzheimer's and myasthenia gravis. A 2025 Biology Insights piece suggests its electrocyte sink could inspire capacitors for wearable tech or hydrogel batteries for pacemakers that never quit. Imagine a smartwatch zapping on eel power or a heart implant running for decades, straight out of Star Trek. But it's not just tech. E. Voltai's discovery triples the electrophorus genus, shouting, the Amazon's still hiding treasures. De Santana warns that deforestation, slashing 20% of the rainforest since 1970, could erase species before we meet them. E. Voltai's highland niche, shaped by millions of years, also teaches us how life adapts to tough environments, a playbook for climate resilience. As evolutionary biologist James Albert puts it, this eels a masterclass in nature's problem solving. But what happens when 860 volts meet flesh? Is it a tickle or a takedown? Let's dive into the danger and it's gonna sting. How dangerous is the shock? E. Voltais nyok zajat van voltos, soka termes et legnehez ebutese, de hatasa valtozik. Here's the breakdown. Small prey, fish, shrimp, insects. In the Amazon's dark waters, E. Voltai hunts like a sniper. Its shock overloads nervous systems, paralyzing fish under 30 centimeters instantly or killing them outright. It curls its body to focus the zap, like a stun gun with scales. Group hunting, eels teaming up like wolves, zaps entire schools, making them apex predators. Larger animals, Caimans, anacondas, large fish. Big predators get a rude wake up. The shock triggers muscle spasms and confusion, enough to deter a caiman or stun a catfish for escape. The low amperage, one amp versus 10 to 20 in household shocks, keeps it non-lethal, but it's no love tap. A 2016 study saw eels leap to zap threats, a trick e -voltai likely pulls. Humans, for us, it's agony, but rarely death. De Santana calls it taser-level pain, muscle cramps, numbness, and a buzz that lingers. A 2014 zap left a researcher pale but fine. Risks climb for heart patients as 860 volts could spark arrhythmias. In water, multiple eels might gang up, but fatalities are rare. Historical deaths tied to drowning or prolonged shocks. The eel's charge fades after a big zap, needing hours to recharge. Versus other shockers. Electric rays, 220 volts, 50 amps. Hit harder in saltwater's conductivity. e Voltai's voltage is a freshwater champ, 30% stronger than e Electricus's 650 volts, like trading a punch for a sledgehammer. Ever felt a static shock? Multiply that by 7,000. Would you brave e Voltai's wrath? Comment below, I'm buzzing to know. This eel's a thrill, but it's also a wake-up call. Its discovery screams, save the Amazon, a hotspot losing species faster than we can name them. De Santana estimates 30 to 50% of Amazonian life could vanish by 2050 if deforestation keeps raging. E. Voltai's rivers, scarred by fires, hold genetic gold, cures, tech, secrets we'll lose without action. But studying eels isn't harmless. Capturing them stresses the animals, and De Santana's been zapped, calling it not fun. Is science worth the sting? Now picture bioelectric tech booming. Could we overharvest Evoltai's enzymes, plundering wild stocks? Bioethicist Dr. Maria Torres, our fictional sage, might warn, this eel's a gift, but greed could fry it. Exploit nature, and we lose more than fish, we lose hope. Yet optimists see a win-win. Eel-inspired tech could fund conservation, making E. Voltai a rainforest rock star. It's hope versus hubris, and the stakes couldn't be higher. What if this eel saves lives and the Amazon? Could its zap power a greener world? We'll loop back, stay plugged in. E. Voltai isn't just a fish. It's a flare lighting a new frontier. It's 860 volts promised tech leaps from heart-saving implants to eco-friendly power.
It's a warning too. Protect the Amazon or lose nature's genius. As Dr. Torres might say, this eel's handed us lightning. Don't let it burn us. Researchers are probing its electrocytes, eyeing applications from neural sensors to sustainable energy. But every spark forward begs questions. Can we harness this without harming eels? Will we save their home before it's ash? Your turn. Should we chase e electric dreams or tread lightly to save its world? Drop your take below. Let's keep the current flowing. One last jolt. What if e not the king? Could a hidden eel hit 1,000 volts or unlock secrets we can't dream of?